I must say it right now. Even in today's time, you see all that's happening in the world, at least in the US. I'm like, God, when are you going to destroy those people? Yeah, I'm being honest. I'm like, God, can you rain down fire and brimstone just like in Sodom and Gomorrah? Because do you see how much evil or wickedness is happening in the world right now? Ocean. It's a simple question. I don't know what would happen. And by the way, when God decides that someone should die, it's not murder for him. Because God kills all of us at some point. And he's the only one that can resurrect us. So we don't have the right to murder people, but God has the right to kill people anytime he wants. He can strike me down today, tomorrow, anytime he wants, and it's completely in his prerogative. God has the right to slaughter the Amalekites down to the last man, woman, and child. God has the right to take us out anytime we want, because if Christianity is true, men don't really die, we just change location. And God can do that anytime You're... he wants. Okay. Let me pause right there. So, huh. okay, Cody's issue is that, <sighs> man, if God kills people, first of all, God doesn't kill people. That's the first thing first, because you know why God doesn't kill people? <laughs> because if God decides to remove his protecting hands from us, we're going to die. By nature, we're gonna die. If God decides, you know what? If God decides he's gonna turn his face away from us, we are dead. The reason why we are still here is because God is still watching out for us. Because there's a devil out there, all he wants to do is kill people. Trust me, yeah. Now, let me talk about Cody's dilemma. Not a dilemma, he's an atheist, so. That's a problem for him, not a dilemma. Um, Cody's problem is that God, is that it, he considers God killing. Um, and to him, that's evil because God kills. But he doesn't understand. I must say it right now. Even in today's time, you see all that's happening in the world, at least in the U.S. I'm like, God, when are you going to destroy those people? Yeah, I'm being honest. I'm like, God, can you rain down fire and brimstone just like in Sodom and Gomorrah? Because do you see how much evil or wickedness is happening in the world right now? People are trying to mutilate children. People are trying to kidnap, S.A., grape, um, bestiality, the alphabet LGTV community, alphabet community, all kinds of wicked stuff which is degrading the nation. Um, they're trying to destroy the nuclear family, meaning if you got no nuclear family, you're going to have a bunch of degenerate children which are going to become wicked or wicked er, I would say wicked wicked er, I would say that that way, you understand? Know Instead of saying more wicked, because they're gonna become more wicked, why? Because they got no parental guidance. And the parents didn't have any parental guidance, which means the cycle of wickedness keeps going. Where where do we stop? If God doesn't stop it, where do we stop? When we kill each other? You're walking down the road, somebody drives by and shoots you in the face. Is that good? But when God decides to destroy those that are doing wicked stuff, people like Cody get mad. Because God is killing. No! God is removing evil. Is it wrong to remove evil? Do you know what the Malachites were doing? What the Canaanites were doing? The Canaanites? the Sidonites, the Sodomites, the Amalekites, the Hittites. You know what they were doing? Oh man. Now, here's the problem. Um, Frank Turek said, if Christianity is true, when you die, you don't really die. 
you to change places. Actually, it's false. When you die, you dead. You go to the grave. Bible says it clearly to Adam and Eve, for dust you are, and to dust you shall return. When you die, you go to the grave. That's about it. You don't go anywhere else. You go to the grave. Because if people did really believe when you die, you go somewhere else, why is it that every year they go back to the tomb to weep? If they are no longer there, why are you standing there in front of the grave? They are somewhere else. Why are you standing there? Because they are actually there. That's why. When you die, Bible says this. When you die, the spirit or the breath of life goes back to God who gave it and the body goes back to the grave where it came back to the earth where it came from. Bible is teaching when you die, you go somewhere else. Well, you change location as before you were walking over the ground, and then after that, you were now underground, six feet deep underground. In that sense, yes, you change location. Because before you were walking underground, and now you are under the ground. So, yeah, in that sense, you are changing location. So, let me actually move on with the rest of that video. Let's see what we have. Here for your here, question. Here. It, is, it, 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 it is stunning to me that massacre and genocide gets applauded in this building. God Cody. demands slaughter and massacre right. and genocide. All right, Cody, um, there's nothing wrong with genocide if atheism is true. That's true. Are you serious? If atheism is true, there is no there's God. nothing wrong with genocide. I am an atheist and I oppose genocide okay, in every but, possible, in but, every way. But, but realize, that's his opinion. <laughs> if there is no moral arbitrary, if there is no right and wrong, who told you what, who told you what is right and wrong? If there is no God, anybody can say what is right and wrong. That's the problem we have right now. That's just your personal opinion. Because yeah. There's no standard beyond you. Exactly. Who says it's wrong. Yeah. The standard that says is correct that I will help my fellow human, up to and including you, especially you, doctor, that I would never harm anyone in this room. Okay, I'm glad. Atheism, Cody. are you suggesting that atheism allows or, 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 or purports or wants? Genocide? Atheism. I, know, I know you wouldn't say it. You would atheism, never say that. Yes, atheism does allow it. You can ask Mao, you can ask Stalin, you can ask Pol Pot, because if there is no authority beyond the government, they are God. I would. I could not possibly agree. I could not possibly disagree that those people were atheists. But as Richard Dawkins and Christopher Hitchens would both argue, as you well know, none of those people slaughtered millions in the name of atheism. There are countless right. millions. Right, Cody, Cody, this isn't a debate, okay? I know. Thanks, so I, I, I thank you for thanks, being sir. here. But let me let me deal, cause I, I, you know, I, I, Cody, I love talking about this stuff. But there's a line of people behind you, and uh, so we can't keep going back and forth. But I do want to answer sir. your your question is, about the is, Canaanites. Is, is God immoral for massacre, slaughter, and racism and slavery? Uh, Cody, look, we don't have time to deal with all those. Trust me. I Man, Cody got some big issues. <sighs> okay. If there is no God, who can, who can tell you what is right and wrong? If, guys, listen to this. If there is no God, and the government is telling you what is right and wrong, then they are basically playing God. Because if atheism is true, there is no God, then who are you to tell me? You didn't create me. The same way I die, you die. And the same way I cannot resurrect myself, you cannot either. So you are not higher than me. So, and that, and that, and that, and, oh. 
See, this is why Satan is a master mind of deception. He, he, I would say this. Let me put it that way for you guys. Hmm. He gets people to do wicked and inhumane things evil enough that even God himself is appalled and because of the evilness is so great because if the evilness keeps on going guess who's going to be the next victims the God-fearing people they're going to be the victims because if you are in a neighborhood and there are let's say 50 people 40 of them, let's say at first there were 10 wicked people. 10 wicked people, they started to influence another group. Now it's 15, and then it's 25, and then it's 30. At a, at a certain point, if God doesn't intervene, guess what? Everyone is going to be wicked. Or... If there, let's say, there was like, if, if, let's say at the end it came to be 40 wicked people versus 10. Because of the 10 that are good or God-fearing people, the 40 wicked ones are going to try to kill them because they are not living according to their way of living. For example, look in the Bible. The first two brothers, Cain and Abel, Abel did what is right, Cain did what is wrong, he did what is wrong, but because Abel did what is right, he killed. It's, it's never the one that is doing good that kill the wrong one. The one that is doing good, if they kill the one that is doing evil, is only if God tells them to do so. The one that do evil they do it because they want to do it. So, if God asks me to kill my whole family, I will. Because I know if He asks me to do that, there is something that they are doing that is evil, that He's like, that is too much. Let's get rid of that kind of evilness. Just that. But, I'm going to stop it right here because, you know, I cannot make it too long. Um, hope to see you guys again, actually. Again, this is Open Door TV. Until then, bye for now.